Hey guys, have you all seen a cement grinder at a construction site? Sand, gravel, cement and water are put inside it from one side. All these are then ground, mixed, broken down into fine particles and it forms a slurry which is removed from the other end. This entire process somewhat resembles the process of ingestion, digestion and digestion. The different food substances we eat are first mechanically ground with the help of teeth and broken down into smaller pieces in the mouth. This food contains complex nutrients that are broken down into simpler forms right from the mouth by a process called digestion. But the process of digestion does not happen all at once. Different components of food are broken down in parts of the digestive system and many different enzymes aid this process. In our mouth, saliva has an enzyme called the salivary amylase that partly breaks the complex carbohydrates such as starch to maltose. Maltose is just an intermittent stage. It still has to be converted to glucose. Also, salivary amylase is inactive on any other component such as proteins or lipids and they remain undigested. This mixture called the bolus passes through the esophagus and reaches the stomach. Digestive enzymes and concentrated hydrochloric acid in the stomach further break down the bolus to a pulp-like fluid called chyme. Hydrochloric acid activates an enzyme called pepsin which partly breaks down only the proteins to peptides in the stomach. Poor lipid is still not broken down even at this stage. As the acidic chyme passes from the stomach to the small intestine, secretions from the liver and pancreas called bile and pancreatic juices respectively are mixed with the food. Bile makes the chyme alkaline and breaks the large structure of lipids to small droplets of lipids. Pancreatic juice contains three enzymes. Amyloxin breaks the undigested starch to maltose. Trypsin breaks the protein to peptides. And steepsin partly breaks lipids to fatty acids and glycerol. The final breakdown of food occurs in the duodenum region of the small intestine by the three enzymes released by the small intestine. Enzyme maltase breaks down all the maltose to glucose molecules. Eripsin breaks down all the peptides to amino acids and lipase enzyme breaks down the remaining lipids to fatty acids and glycerol. The blood vessels and lacteal in the villi of the small intestine absorb this simpler form of digested food which is transported to every cell of the body. The undigested food is eliminated from the body from the large intestine as feces. That's fascinating, right? How the body takes care of all the food that we eat.